What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're covering more of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 as well as the Dexnor keyboard. And we're going to be discussing a compatible case as well as answering some viewer comments. So getting into this content, I do want to thank everyone for continuing to watch and comment and give me your time. We have a sense of community here and I absolutely love that. But let's go ahead and get into it. So first we had a question from several viewers. If you could use the Tab S9 in a very slim case and still have compatibility with the Dexnor keyboard. And after some investigation and of course some failures, I can finally confidently say yes. So here we have this setup actually in the works. We'll talk more about it in a moment, but I want to mention those viewers. I want to give recognition to those viewers for raising this question because it was obviously something I didn't think about. And these questions, these comments, they help guide the content. So first we're going to have Winkzify and then we're going to have Omnit4793. They both asked these questions. And sorry if I missed anyone else. I try to get everyone else into these comments that are being answered just so that you feel you are heard, you are recognized. So again, sorry if I missed anyone, uh, but I'm trying to do my best. And then we have concerns from other viewers and I want to give them recognition as well. Some of it is feedback. Some of it kind of seems like a question. So we had concerns and questions from SS-Y27VO as well as Malimal and they mentioned a screen wobble as well as the device not sitting flat. Now in the original video I did point out that there is some wobble in this hinge here and it seems normal to me because of this design, this implemented design. So you're going to have some screen wobble and I'm not sure if that's what's being talked about. That's the actual concern here. But this isn't huge. You know, you're only going to get this if you are actually trying to do what I'm doing now. Or maybe if you pick up the device and you shake it a little bit. But even if you pick it up and shake it a little bit, you can't really recognize it. I think you have to go out of your way to really, you know, recognize it. You have to intentionally wobble it or wiggle it or whatever you might say. And then we have the concern about the device not sitting flat. Now, personally, I haven't had this issue myself. Mine seems to sit flat, but I do want to raise this concern for those who are thinking of buying this device. It may be something to look out for. With these devices, they are manufactured mass quantities, so it is possible that there is a defect in assembly or maybe the battery swells or just something isn't aligned perfectly and maybe there are some defective units that aren't sitting flat but again mine sits flat and uh, it works really well and I haven't had any issues in that regard. So let's talk about a compatible case. So here we have a soft TPU unit by a brand called Puxiku and it works really well here. Now this case comes in a gray black colorway and magnetism is really good here. The unit actually stays on really well. We have it actively installed on the Dexnor keyboard and it blends in really well too. It looks really good. And this goes back to the original question. Can you use a very thin case on the Tab S9 and still have compatibility with the Dexnor keyboard? And as you can tell here, the answer is yes, but there is something small that I do want to point out that I want to make the viewers aware of here. And I think we can actually work around it. So again, magnetism is very good here and I'm going to remove the unit. Now the thing about the magnetism is of course, since we do have a case installed, although it's very thin, there's going to be a bit less magnetism than if you weren't using a case at all. Now I'm going to try to remove this case. It's going to be a nice tight fit here, but it comes off as you would expect. And there we go, the case portion itself. And we're going to just reinstall it. I just wanted to take it off to demonstrate fairly quickly what it's like to remove it and install it. So there we go, we have it back on. And the back once again, I did say it was like a gray, but it, it's kind of like a grayish black. 
and the sides are more black. The sides are more of a shiny black. I also want to mention, there's a disclaimer here, there is a high return rate for this case. I'm not exactly sure why. I haven't had any issues with it. It seems to work well, but just something to point out. Now I'm going to attach it once again to the Dex Nord keyboard, just for demonstration purposes. Lines up very well there. And again, this looks really good. And you're going to have protection for your tablet if you are concerned with dropping it occasionally, which is why that question was also important. So everything looks great, works great. So what is the con? Well, the slight con here, and again, I want to emphasize slight, is because we do have a case installed, we do have a reduction in magnetism. Now, this all works fine this way, no issues here. Again, I could pick up the whole unit. I can kind of wobble it around a little bit. I wouldn't do any more than that because I don't want to make the hinge wobble like crazy. Uh, but because we have a reduction in magnetism, if you go to close this, Sometimes a tablet drops off when closing it. I'm trying to simulate it, and of course I can't get it to do it now. There we go. So sometimes that happens. You can see that it doesn't happen often, but it is worth noting, I feel, because this is a part of the user experience. Now, I feel we can work our way around this by changing the way we actually close this unit. So what I've been doing is I pinch at the top here, which allows me to hold the tablet and the lid, and then I just hold securely and then I close it. That gives us a more controlled close. But what also is really nice here is you can see that once I close this, this is still usable. You can still have the case installed on the Dexnor keyboard and it closes flat. Take a look at that. It's perfect it looks really nice and it works really well now again same thing when opening it you want to be intentional here you want to hold the tablet and that's not the best angle really i'm going to try this again you want to hold the tablet more in the middle here and then open up so that you get a controlled movement there and you're holding the tablet in place but you can see also open in it if you don't hold at the proper place because of the reduction in magnetism the tablet might also slide off a little bit and then there is another thing i want to point out here if you are worried about the case getting scratched there's no worry about that because this part of the dexnor keyboard it's not really soft but it's not hard either it's it's kind of it doesn't really have like a microfiber finish or anything but I don't think it's going to scratch the back of your case so just something else I wanted to point out as well so overall I'm happy with this kit I love the way it looks the functionality is pretty good we just have that small con that I mentioned before but is this a deal breaker for you let us know in the comments down below I think personally I can work around it because this is going to give the tablet protection while still being compatible with the Dexner keyboard. Again, we just have to be very mindful of how we close the unit and open in it. And again, I'm doing it at the hardest angle here because normally I wouldn't open it like this. I would open it when the unit is facing me and that would make it easier to have more control here. But overall, it works really good. It looks really nice. It does the job. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.